Hi. So just last week, my neighbor, Margaret, calls me up. Absolutely thrilled. She helped her grandson with a school project using one of these questions. And he couldn't believe how creative and helpful she was. He actually said, Grandma, you're smarter than Google. I'm here with something that's going to make you the tech hero of your family. Today, I'm going to show you three things that you can ask ChatGPT. That will make your kids and grandkids say, how did you know that? Are you ready? Let's go. Hi, I'm Dave, and welcome to Smart Tech for Any Age. Now, these questions are not technical computer commands, nor are they technical gibberish or jargon. They're just smart questions. The kind that shows that you know how to get the best out of these new AI tools like ChatGPT. By the end of this video, you will have three of these conversation starting questions that will completely change how your family sees your tech skills. We're going to cover the creative helper question, the family historian question, and the best one I'm going to save for last as a surprise. I'm going to show you how to type these questions word for word. Let's dive in. All right, the first question makes you look like a creative genius. This is perfect for family gatherings, gift giving, or helping with any kind of projects where we need fresh ideas. Here's a magic question, and I'm going to show you exactly how to type it. The question is, help me come up with creative ideas for, and then you add in your specific requests or situation. Let me show you a real life example. I have the pleasure of planning my great friend, Bill and Ellen's wedding anniversary, their 50th. So this is what I typed in the ChatGPT for fresh and creative ideas. Help me come up with creative ideas for a 50th wedding anniversary celebration. Now watch what happens when I hit enter. Wow, now look at this. These are ideas I would not have thought of myself. A memory time on display, basically like a, a trip down memory lane. A through the years video. We're going to ask all our old friends for some clips, probably embarrassing ones, maybe, um, that they might have seen before and put it all together in a video. We can renew vowels or write some fresh letters for them to exchange. And then it goes on to give us ideas of what type what feel shall this celebration be? Elegant, a casual backyard, and even a really fun destination where you gather some close families and friends. And how about this one for the family talent show where kids and grandkids and multiple generations get together? How perfect is that for a 50th wedding anniversary for our friends? And here's why this amazes your family. They think you hired a professional party planner when you really just ask one smart question. The key to making this all work is to be specific. Don't just ask for party ideas. Say things like 50th wedding celebration or retirement party ideas or graduation celebration ideas. The more specific you are, the better suggestions you get. Hi, are you interested in a simple, downloadable and free PDF file that teaches you how to go from a beginning chat GPT user to semi pro. Well, I made one for you and you get it now, right now by clicking the very top link below. It's called chat GPT guide for seniors explained in plain English. Grab it right now. All for free. Now let's get back to learning. Question number two turns you into the family storyteller. And this one really gets people's attention. This is perfect for preserving memories, teaching family history, 
or just even making your stories more engaging and interesting to a different generation. Here's a question format. Help me write a story about, then you add in your family history, memory, or tradition in a way that, and then you add in your target audience would enjoy. Let me demonstrate with something personal. I'm going to type, help me write a story about my grandmother's victory garden during World War II in a way that teenagers would find interesting. So we just plugged in the situation like this and our target audience, which is this, the people that we want to engage with the story. Let's see what happens. Now, just look at this response. Instead of just, my grandmother had a garden during the war, it turned it into a gaging story with details about rationing, community spirit, and how growing vegetables was actually an act of patriotism. Let's take a look. The world was at war, but my grandmother's battlefield wasn't across the ocean. It was just a patch of dirt that became a secret weapon. And it goes on to say how she grows vegetables to feed soldiers and neighbors. And decades later, she tells me the stories. And it's just really acts to bring generations together so that they understand. And of course, we can fill in our personal details even more or ask ChatGPT to make this story longer or shorter and to tailor it however you want. Do you see how this takes a basic memory and turns into something that grabs attention? Your grandchildren will be hanging on every word because it's just not a story anymore. It's a history that connects to them. And this works for any family memory. Help me write a story about grandpa's first job in a way that young adult would find inspiring. Well, this one, help me write a story about our family's immigration in a way that children would understand. Remember, the pattern to this question is, help me write a story about your memory in a way that your audience would enjoy. Really powerful. Give it a try. Okay, this final question makes you the go-to person in your family when something goes wrong. And trust me, this is when your family will be really impressed. This works for absolutely everything. Tech troubles, household issues, or even relationship challenges. You become the calm, cool, and collected problem solver that everybody turns to. Here's the question. What are the some simple solutions for? Then you describe your problem that don't require special tools or expertise. Now, this last part is crucial, okay? The part that says that don't require special tools or expertise because this tells ChatGPT to give you solutions you can actually do. Let me show you with a common problem. We type in, what are some simple solutions? And here's your issue for a smartphone that's running slowly that don't require special tools for expertise. Let's take a look. Perfect. Now look at all these suggestions. Restart the phone. Close any kind of background applications. Clear storage. Check for updates. And there are many others. Let's just pick one of these, the first one. So you restart your phone by holding the power button and it explains why. Now, of course, starting a phone is something anyone can do. But when you confidently suggest that it works, your family thinks you're a tech expert. And if you would need more information on any one of these steps, all you got to do is ask, explain more about step one, because it knows what step one is. And then ChatGPT proceeds to dive deeper into how and why restarting your phone makes it run faster and better. Now, these are not just for tech issues. This works for everything. For example, what are some simple solutions for a clogged drain that don't require special tools? Or what are some simple solutions for a car that won't start 
that don't require expertise? What are some simple solutions for family disagreement that don't require taking sides? Remember, the format is, what are some simple solutions for, and then your problem, that don't require special tools or expertise. Before we wrap up, let me give you three extra bonus tips that will make these questions work even better for you. Tip number one, always say please and thank you when you're typing to ChatGPT. It doesn't matter that it's a computer, it builds good habits and it makes your request sound more natural. Tip number two, if your first question or request isn't quite right, don't be afraid to dive in deeper. Just type in, can you make that simpler? Or can you give me more detail? Please, ChatGPT is happy to adjust to your needs. Tip number three, save the good responses. Copy them and paste them into a document on your computer. Maybe a Google Doc. ChatGPT doesn't always remember your past conversations. So if you get something great, keep it somewhere safe where you can find it again. Now remember, ChatGPT will not always be perfect, but these three questions will give you a fantastic starting point. The key is practice. Try one of these questions a week, or when a need comes up, then add another next week. There's no rush, and there's no wrong way to start. Okay, you now have three questions that will completely change the way your family views your tech skills. Start with whichever one interests you most. Maybe you want to plan something creative, form an engaging story, or solve a nagging problem. There's no wrong choice. I want you to try one of these questions this week, and then come back and tell me about it in the comments below. Was your family surprised? Were they impressed? Were you shocked at how helpful these answers were? I read all the comments and I love your success stories. And I love to talk about them in my future videos. If you find these questions helpful today, I wrote for you a completely free downloadable PDF guide that has this and more of how to get the best use of the ChatGPT. It's called Getting Started for Seniors with ChatGPT. Learn it in plain English. You can grab it now, right now, in the first link below. Free. If you enjoy this content, please click the like button and also subscribe. Doing that really helps small channels like this one grow. And here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks that you might also like. So please click on them. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.